What's up, yeah. everybody? It's your boy, AB, from AB underscore XY. And today, I am bringing you guys something super special. We are doing an interview with a legend. You guys may know him. Some of you guys may simp over him. His name is Spry, a.k.a. Spry It Up from okay. the Alpha Bravo Combat Master Team. Spry, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> pretty good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy that you're here, bro. I appreciate you taking the time for this interview. I promise that it won't be too long, um, but I do appreciate. No, no worries, man. Appreciate you being here, and and also for joining all of our streams and the videos and everything, dude. Like you guys, like you guys, what you guys are doing over there is super dope. How how much um, communication you guys have with content creators, and especially someone like a small channel like mine. Like, do we barely hit oh, yeah. two thousand? And I can't thank you guys enough for all the all the love and support. It really means a lot. Yeah. Your channel's growing really well. That's the thing. So yeah. you should be like up in the 10Ks pretty soon. Yeah, and I, I think a big part of it is is because of all the combat master exposure. Like uh, that that has really helped me out a oh, lot. Oh yeah, not just that, but it's like a lot of dedication to like just kind of like uh, time you're using your free time. Basically, you're putting so much dedication into this. Oh, you're too nice, bro. You're so nice. This is why people simp over you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> i remember like they were talking about my voice in your uh in your uh live stream oh my god that very first voice reveal dude the whole chat was like <laughs> shocked people were like simping immediately bro my one of my mods was like marry me spry like right off the bat <laughs> just based on i'm voice too young alone. i'm only 19 <laughs> <laughs> yeah 19 dude so let me get into my first question okay let me get into my yeah, first question sure. um just to kind of in introduce yourself bro uh tell us a little bit about your background how you got involved with combat master and just kind of what is your position and what you're doing now so what basically let me start it off like small like long story short where like it all started off like it started off in like an action strike where it was like at its peak prime like the game was still like brand new back in 2019 right and i discovered the game and i discovered they had a discord when i joined i noticed like the discord was small and i saw the owner and i saw the owner was a solo developer like he was working on a game purely by himself maybe there was like one or two people that i didn't see maybe they weren't part of the server but i only saw alpha bravo so i asked him if i could help him in any kind of way you know i tried getting the game a lot of exposure as much as i could over time i started helping him with a lot of things that he needed like if he needed something to try to get it done with him you know uh Fast forward to now, uh, the game is super big. I basically help him on anything else that he needs, whether it would be like any kind of development skills, contacting, or maybe the researching or um, doing a little bit like kind of like a project for him that he needs me to do, you know, stuff like that. And, and you're doing a really good job at it, bro. Like you're really like an, yeah. in, in, in Discord, like you are like the go-to guy. Like everyone sees you. You're the one making the announcements. You're the one reaching out to all the content creators. Um, oh, it, yeah. That's super dope. That Alpha Q&A Bravo. as well. Oh, and 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 the Q and A's. That's right. You guys hosted <laughs> yeah. like a very big uh, Q and A, like when the uh, the very first takedown mm -hmm. happened and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's super dope. How how is Alpha Bravo? Is he like a pretty chill dude, or does he treat you guys well? Yeah, he's really chill. Yeah, like the rest of the dev team. I I haven't like I know like I like like talked to a couple of like, the dev team. They're all really chill people. Uh, I don't when I I know when I see them on VC like all that kind of stuff I try to like you know not butt in and join when they're like talking about something surely they're talking about something like that's really more important but I try to butt in like let them know stuff I know like I met most of them they are really chill people like super calm people like they're really cool Alpha problem being one of the most like coolest people ever knowing that he's the owner of the game but he's super chill and everything he yeah. knows what he's doing he knows like his orders like what he has to do and stuff like that so yeah and, and you just to keep stuff balanced down right and this this is not his first rodeo he's actually developed a previous game action strike so and that one's actually, yeah action strike and he did it all on his own yeah yeah he was a solo worker so i was like damn this guy's like really top tier you know for this much dedication yeah, so he, uh, he i know like really that game is like help pay to win but oh yeah i I know like action strike was pay to win at that time because you know like all like the money other spend just to get like some really good stuff but i think that was just like a way for him to get some sort of funding for like a bigger project which is combat master so did he always have the idea for combat master or was he did he kind of develop that um uh, it, it was like a heavy inspiration like you know once you start like making a game you want to make a game that's like high, heavily inspired by other games you know like csgo cod you know maybe a little bit mixture between like uh warzone stuff like that uh, it's like with most games uh like uh let's take creative destruction for example like that game is heavily inspired by fortnite obviously right yeah yeah basically a lot of people uh -huh. called it you know a clone and the that. fortnite copy yeah but it's just have i just think of it as like heavily inspired by that game i, I think 
someone has said and i think it's um i don't remember where i've seen it but i've seen it many times before where they said that there are like no original ideas anymore because anything that yeah, you think you no can, more originality because everything has been done already you can delve into previous like past artworks and you will draw inspiration mm -hmm. from those and kind of like come up with your own um it's kind of like where yeah. the, the idea of style comes from you know there's a certain yeah. style that's it's already been done before but you you yeah you like uh like rogue company it. like rogue company yeah like rogue company it's like parkour kind of like aesthetic kind of like a game with like a little bit of that hint of like that kind of like a 5v5 kind of like tdm like no coming back kind of stuff i heard there's a rogue company mobile on the way by the way yeah yeah if you look <laughs> up rogue company it's like a parkour kind of like like movement style game it's like all about a movement it's like school uh shooting base kind of game yeah, and it's pretty third cool. person too right yeah third person i believe yeah i think it is third person i haven't tried it yet i know my i know one of my friends tried it before. oh see now that's a good question <laughs> like let's think about it like <sighs> I, I, this one is a Q&A, like a really deep, like, <laughs> let's think about it, third person, like uh, third person, you can just hide behind a wall and just use third person as an advantage to peek over another wall. That's true. And you PUBG. can just basically, yeah, PUBG at its fine. you can <laughs> lean shot, like lean crouch shot, like you can spam and you'll be like dodging bullets, like if you're like John Wick on this, it's yeah. funny. Yeah, third, um, I think the third person, oh, no, sorry, sorry go, go on. Well, I was just going to say uh, that if you design a game with third person in mind, you kind of have to design everything else around the fact that you know that those kind of things will happen people will use it to peak people will take advantage of the camera yeah. system so you design the maps and everything around that fact too yeah even with the fov with the fov too yeah with fov you can do a lot of stuff i know i remember i saw a clip of uh an fov player and, uh it was a pc friend and his uh console player they were like on top of the alcatraz like cell house area and he noticed that when he was going across his uh his pc player saw the guy coming up the ladder yeah but the console friend didn't see and i was thinking about his like kind of fov is like a needed thing for like most players yep right yeah I see like it, even for all platforms i see it all the time with like warzone clips uh, mm -hmm. the importance of like fov because on pc you can but on console you can't so people will like literally mm -hmm. like slide cancel and like get her behind somebody and the console mm -hmm. player will never see it yeah the the broken camera angle basically it, it's all out of their peripherals they can't see it they can't defend it nothing dude you're done so yeah, yeah. i think that's very important you know all the it's crazy it's crazy oh, yeah. when you think about game development i mean i've never developed anything but i've been playing a lot of games for a long time and you know you see the yeah. little things and you're like ah but i guess i guess everybody that plays video games feels like they they know how to make a game better <laughs> yeah but then again you have to like be in like the shoes and think about like oh my god this probably would have been hard like coding mm -hmm. a lot of bracket coding and stuff mm -hmm. like that not just that but you have to kind of like you know uh visualize the environment you have to know a lot of stuff you have to make sure there's no peak glitches or you glitch underneath the map or any kind of like broken bugs or like kind of like any kind of the exposure that messes up your gameplay or it kind of like the play style of your game uh so i kind of want to go back to something that you mentioned earlier you mentioned the mm -hmm. inspirations right you take inspirations mm -hmm. to design your own creations um you yeah. mentioned alpha bravo being inspired by all these you know these very popular first person shooters or just yeah. shooters in general csgo yeah it's like csgo cod mm -hmm. uh i believe we have apex legends a little bit of more inspiration but mostly like inspiration i believe like that it's heavily inspired by like csgo play style including the um Kind of like cod wharf zone kind of model warfare style right gameplay so i gotta i gotta ask you about it bro we i have mm -hmm. to bring it i wouldn't be doing a good job if we didn't talk about the takedown i know you guys did a whole yeah oh yeah you guys answered a lot mm -hmm. of questions about it but as far as the inspirations mm -hmm. and and the, the comparisons to modern warfare everybody was calling it mm -hmm. modern warfare mobile um that they're copying yeah. they're cloning they're they're stealing all mm -hmm. this and that was there oh yeah in the in the development process was that ever brought up like hey this is starting to look a lot like modern warfare we, we could knew probably get into the beginning yeah we knew since the beginning we knew it was gonna be like uh people are gonna call it out for modern warfare copycat and stuff like that we knew from the beginning you know but at that point we thought like in our heads like maybe like they would just think it's just heavily inspired game like not just a copy like i think about it like it's a heavily inspired knowing that it's like it's really hard to find original games like nowadays like it's impossible to find original games if you see like apex legend uh do you see omega legends if you ever heard about it. uh omega legends also heavily inspired by apex legend like extremely heavily inspired right right so and then you're like thinking back and forth like maybe we should like think about like like the developer side like 
maybe they don't want to like be like the kind of people to be considered to copycat maybe they want to be to consider people like to be like the little brother of the bigger game version like the big brother yeah like they want to be like kind of like the kind of like the inspired like the heavily inspired game you know like oh modern warfare is not on mobile we'll do it ourselves you know we'll get you guys modern warfare like here it is right i mean that'd be the perfect style but you know it's something i i think combat master came at a time that was almost um it was almost like the perfect conditions for like for to blow up mobile gaming for, yeah yeah for one I mobile remember, like, gaming on I, the rise mm -hmm. obviously a big you know market for it there is also a lot of rumors oh, yeah. of call of duty like the next sequel to call of duty and a lot of people wanting like yeah, the modern Cod warfare too. yeah exactly and then yeah and then also with everybody like seeing the game and then being like whoa it looks like modern warfare and then it just started like yeah. this whole buzz and like hype um mm -hmm. i feel like it was almost like the perfect situation for this game to get like exposure you know what i mean yeah i remember like i think i seen like a content creator i, I cannot remember who it was i remember a content creator told me like dude you guys came out in the perfect time to build up hype for mobile gaming because mobile gaming is dying knowing that like the bigger version like the big dogs of like the games the mobile games are not coming out until like what like next year or something right. apex legends gonna it's already building up an extreme amount of hype yeah when that game comes out it's gonna be like awesome like mobile game is gonna be like a really cool like it's gonna be like a lot of games to like play they're like oh my god i want to play like cod mobile but no i also want to play apex or or maybe i want to play valorant mobile like you yeah. have like so much choice like like the hype for mobile gaming is so amazing it's just amazing how like um kind of like lower end device friendly is being now you know people like a lot of people can't afford like higher devices but like right. that's what games like do now like, if you can't afford a console uh just download con mobile or maybe like a uh, valorant mobile or something like that like find your find your spark in a mobile gaming yeah right one of the things that i've noticed about a like mobile gaming and maybe one of the reasons why it has grown so much let's say for example like this past couple mm -hmm. years no one can find a ps5 yeah. you cannot get your hands on the xbox series x you oh can't even God, get, yeah you can't even get like the latest like computer pieces or parts because everything is so rare yeah. and expensive right now but Almost you know, everybody like right now like has like, ha sorry sorry uh my bad uh i was gonna say didn't, wasn't there like a shortage on electronics they became more expensive because places yeah. buy, like they were having like a shortage because of it yeah there's like a whole like computer chip shortage and so like that the yeah the chips that go into so. everything you know there's like a big shortage so like even if i wanted to like upgrade i can't you know what i mean so but i could play yeah. like all the latest and greatest like mobile games like mm -hmm. right now I feel like people like should consider like oh like old PC component parts. Maybe we should like think about recycling that part. Like maybe like scrap it, like use it for like later or bigger component part. I, I feel I, like people who have like a lot of old phones. I remember like there's actually uh there's actually a person uh here in my uh state right. And there's like a small store where a guy like pays you money for old junk, aka computer components like phones, stuff, and he basically reforms it into like kind of like a component where he later sells it to like other people that need it. And it's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. I don't know why so much stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's almost like we gotten so used to the technology that we take it for granted. A lot of that stuff ends up yeah. in a dump. You know what I mean? And it's like, dude, this is like yeah. technology that did not exist like 50 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah in my state, it in the trash. Uh, yeah, in my state, I think that's why like most of the stuff is cheap because uh, in my state, a lot of people recycle like in a crazy amount. It's like a, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say my state because I want to keep like that stuff private. But in my state, uh in my neighborhood right like they always like constantly like have like old phones when they switch plans to a newer device they yeah. get that old phone right they make sure like all their photos and everything is completely dd basically like, factory shit uh -huh. take it to the new store the old man's store and just like sell it there like you know a couple like 20 50 bucks and he apparently he makes a lot of money and profit dude that's like good. a crazy amount of, right that's good i mean um, i mean we learned as little yeah. kids to reduce reuse and recycle yeah <laughs> like the old like elementary style <laughs> exactly bro <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> so now i want to ask you another question bro um, yeah for sure how is um working basically everybody's working from home it's all through the internet mm -hmm. how is that as far as that like, communication um sending files back communication and forth. is perfect because of discord yeah communication is, is really perfect for discord right now because if it wasn't for discord we probably would have like went with like skype or something but nah communication is perfectly well you know sending files over you know like uh using those files downloading it converting it you know stuff like that right it's perfectly yeah. fine so everything's all good yeah i feel like right now with like the whole pandemic and everything like certain certain i would say certain jobs maybe got a little bit harder but for other people i would say yeah. probably it actually is maybe a better situation 
and maybe mm-hmm. game development. I remember. Sorry, go on. Oh no no no! I was just saying that you know I don't know you know how it is from game development standpoint. You know, um, you yeah. Know, does that make it easier, harder? But you I mean you're saying that? I think it's like between. In between. It's like in between. Yeah. I mean, like I think it was hard at one point because I actually got really sick, so I couldn't do much for uh, Alpha Bravo. Like you know, getting in touch with people, so I had to like stay in bed. And, like it was sick as. I was sick. Like it was pretty bad. I think I uh, I tested negative for COVID, but I had like a high fever, like a really extremely high one. Yikes. So. You know, I had yeah, COVID, so I couldn't really I help. Have a, I didn't have a fever. It's kind of weird. Uh, I think it was just like, were you able to taste stuff then? Were you able to I, taste? Stuff? I could taste. I could smell. I felt. All I really felt was like an, like the the worst headache of my life, and then like an overall yeah. body weakness. And so I wasn't sure what was going on because like all the usual like symptoms that everyone had like that I've come to hear like over the past year, like you mentioned. Oh yeah. The smell. Yeah. Um, I never the taste, felt like yeah. the taste buds. I didn't have those symptoms. I remember my mom so got COVID, sure. and she, yeah, my mom got COVID one time, and she like, hey, I'm gonna taste like really like strong black coffee. I was like, are you sure? I remember one time I tasted, it, I did not like it, and she tasted it, and she's like, I don't taste it, but I can still feel like, I can still taste like the coffee, like the aftertaste. I'm like, how does that work? You don't taste the coffee, but you feel the aftertaste. That's scary. So I was like buzzed out from that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but, but no, it's pretty good right now. Actually, I remember like uh, before I used to like fully, fully like uh, work for Alpha Bravo because uh, his money is a lot more better than what I earn in the McDonald's. Because <laughs> you know, I used to work McDonald's like fuck, like literally like so five days a week, like five days a week, every two weeks pay me. You know, it's like uh, from like let's say like twelve to like eleven, right? But because they because of like you know COVID. They kept on sending me home early, like on all that kind of stuff. So I didn't earn yeah. too much money. They even dropped my days less. They maybe like do like three days only, like Saturdays, Sundays, and Fridays. Oh, dude, that's rough. So man. I was like, dude, I was like, dude, I was, like I'm kind of done. I was like earning maybe like even less than three hundred bucks. How did you right? like the work so, though? It, yeah, it was like it was cool work. I mean, like, I had a lot of good friends there. A good amount of my friends quit it and they just said, I'm done. I'm just like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to work at Home Depot. And like before I went to go work at Home Depot, they said, like, sorry, we're not accepting people. I was like, shoot. So yeah, when Alpha Bravo like, like told me about the me, manager like, Home Depot yeah. was like, yeah, we just had like four guys come from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, we just had like no. He, apparently, like he said, they had like ten people come from like different McDonald's. Like, oh, no shit. way. Yeah, dude. I was like, dude, no way. I I should have like thought of it sooner. Like, what happens if I don't get paid? I should maybe like move to a new job. Like, see, my friends are like thinking of the head. So now they're doing pretty good. I work for Alpha, and I'm really happy where I'm at working for Alpha. Yeah, so it's really hey, amazing. Well, I'm glad and it helps my life a lot more easier. Oh yeah, knowing that my state is cheap and his money is like, ooh, big profits. So it's amazing, yeah. and I'm really grateful for like the payment and everything and all that kind of stuff. Dude, that is awesome, man. I, you know what? This really sounds like a, like a Cinderella story for you guys, man. Like, Al- yeah, you know what I mean? like, it really feels <laughs> that way. Like, if you think about it, like how you Alpha mentioned, Alpha Bravo is the prince charming of this group. Dude, <laughs> Alpha Bravo was like the solo developer. Who had dreams for yeah. a bigger game brought on more people the game blows up and then there's this kid working at mcdonald's who can't find a job and then starts working for a game developer and it doesn't get better than yeah. that bro it just sounds yeah i mean you gotta gotta, so you gotta cool. clap for that bro it sounds that's like a dream come yeah, true a lot no. of people would love to be involved <laughs> yeah. with like video games you know oh yeah and it takes a lot of skills and that kind of stuff but if you like put enough like uh dedication and all that kind of stuff determination and everything you're like all set like just go for it like you may not know too much but you'll learn slowly and you'll get up to there and to the point where you just got that muscle memory kicking in you just know what to do that is freaking awesome yeah uh i'm gonna go ahead and move on to another question yeah for sure and this one is something that i i I've, I found very interesting because a lot of video games, mm-hmm. a lot of developers, they hide little Easter eggs. Um, yeah. For, for like example, like in Super Mario, like 64, you can go to the top of the castle and there's like a Yoshi up there. Um, mm-hmm. Are there, yeah, is there anything like that? that? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, so like, I think the only Easter egg we have is like the secret reload animations, right? And if you know, if you ever play the combat master mode and you do the inspections of the hands, you have, have you done it already? Like the inspections with the hands? of just the, like the bare hands yeah i have not if you go to it and you check i'm not gonna say nothing because i don't want to spoil it for you but if you do go into the combat master mode right which uh-huh. is like kind of like our mini royale and inspect your hands and you see a really cool like easter egg right there oh and it's I'm one of our that. favorites i'm gonna add that to this it's video, one of our bro. favorite i'm gonna, gonna add, add as a clip it's like here's yeah. a clip just a little, little quick transaction yeah, bro, i'm just gonna right like now. edit it in <laughs> yo thank you <laughs> quick for that transaction bro. I... right now <laughs> All right, you know what? We should go to a commercial first, and then I'll add the clip. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. There's no commercial. Go to commercial break right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, uh, welcome to Wiener Schnitzel. Fuck McDonald's. Fuck McDonald's. <laughs> they're, they're, they're representing the wrong, <laughs> the wrong game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, bro. my God. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to another Combat Master-related question, and that's going to be, yeah. um, you know, when the whole takedown, went, when the whole takedown happened. Right. Mm -hmm. Was it was it and, and people were giving the you know, you guys a bunch of criticism and they were saying this and that. Um, oh, yeah. Were the criticisms justified and should people, you know, did so, they, and, and, you know, and, and all that was it motivation or was it discouraging? Obviously, you guys criticism, back. obviously without criticism, I say that word right. you, you got without it. that most developers wouldn't have like a strong motivation to keep on going. And of course, the criticism may hurt here and there. But like, let's be honest, like they they probably wouldn't understand from a developer's like perspective like oh my god maybe i should like not take it for granted you know they are a small team like maybe like they're not as big as multi-millionaire like cod mobile like team like right. dude we're like a small team we're not as big as like cod mobiles we're not as big as like you know csgo possibly or any other kind of like bigger game developers like apex legends right obviously right, right we're a right. small team you know we work hard we put a lot of dedication effort and sure our updates may not come until like next month or even like delayed after next month right wait, wait so wait, it really on, takes a lot on, of time hold on. Hold, hold on hold on hold on so you're mm -hmm. saying you're saying there's an update coming next month yeah so we have an update hopefully coming uh by the end of this month we may delay it uh to fix any kind of stuff that we find bugging because we do test it out first on first hand on ourselves with our phones right and test to run it like a little kind of like a little test beta right okay a little private test beta against each other when you think about like okay maybe we're good let's try to do a couple more runs right here and there testing out modes and everything we're like okay what about purchases test out purchases and all that kind of stuff i know people who purchase stuff and it didn't work and we're like you think it's like oh my god maybe it's another bug we have to do obviously with like fixing stuff it's kind of like you know takes time and effort we do pop out small right. updates here and there for, to fix these stuff. That's what people receive, like random updates, right? We can't do like the in-game updates. We, I think we, I think Alpha Bravo prefers doing like kind of like the Google Play or Apple Store update kind of stuff. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, you know what? And I, I think that's something that people need to remember. You know, people may, you know, they be they may be wondering like, where the hell is this update? Where is these updates? Where are these game modes? Where is this stuff that you know we've been, <laughs> that have been announced? You know, AB is making all these leaks videos, and you know, yeah. Spry is making these announcements. But where is this stuff? And I, I think it's um, yeah. People got to remember the team is small. You guys yeah. are seriously yeah, the team is small. Hard. You know, and everything oh, has yeah. to be tested internally before it could be sent out to everybody else. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I know people who can't still purchase stuff due to like their uh, currency not being able to accept it. That is like kind of like stuff we kind of had to close down because most currency aren't properly adjusted. I know like in one country, I remember somebody sent me a screenshot where I had to like uh, translate it. Apparently, like it was like a hundred and something dollars for a ten dollar bundle. Oh no way! And I was like things like, oh my god, that's so expensive. You're like, dude, that's a thick skin. I told Alf, I remember, it. yeah, so it's an <laughs> NFT right there. <laughs> NFT um, money. <laughs> and when I told Alpha about that, I think he privated, like not private. I think he made it so people couldn't purchase certain bundles in areas of the world, in certain which regions. was a smart idea. Yeah, which was a smart idea, in my point of view, because I feel like that's gonna like stop some people from purchasing stuff in case, you know, they try to purchase some like hundred dollar bundle and they didn't know like it was like ten bucks. Right. Well, I mean, that I think that's only fair. I mean. Yeah, and, you know everybody's gonna see it. For example, like if I make a video and I'm, you know, I'm advertising, hey, this bundle is only four dollars, and then when someone from another oh, yeah. region tries to shop it and it's like, here's uh, hundred something, yeah, hundred and ten dollars. They're gonna be like, well, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna suck. We actually dropped the prices. Um, I know Alpha Bravo uh, decided to drop the prices, and of course, dropping prices that doesn't make any kind of like you know funding for the game. But we thought it was something nice, something cool to do, uh, knowing that most people can you know obviously with higher end devices not a lot of people can afford like cool stuff cool little gimmicks and you know, bundles and you know cool looking skins right, right. that's what for our content creators we provide us bundle uh promo codes actually and we do uh giveaways in our servers too sometimes here and there but we mostly i think we mostly rely on our content creators whenever about a host tournament do giveaways i think we mostly heavily rely on them doing the giveaways because I feel like they can reach out to a bigger public who loves the game or enjoys playing the game or oh, just new and want to get a bundle for free. Yeah, no, definitely. Like when you guys reached out to me and, 
you guys were like, mm-hmm. hey, you know, I got some codes. If you guys want to do some giveaways, I'm like, damn, I do giveaways once yeah. a month. And, you know, that's coming, you know, basically from my own pocket, you know. And I love doing the tournaments and the giveaways. Like, I love that stuff. But, you know, when oh, you guys yeah. approached me, I was like, dude, like, I could do another giveaway, you know, because I do have a lot of people that are like, play Combat Master, play Combat Master. Or, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm actually, I actually have new promo codes set up right now. I'm just organizing everything right now for it. Like, you know, like, like sets real quick, like set one, set two, set three, set five. Basically, we have a total, like, I think like, two, I think like 15 sets of promo codes. Oh, wow. Right now set up. So if a content creator gives us one and they want the promo code to do giveaways, I'm oh, sure here's set one. Here you go. There's like 10 of them in there. So like, right. you know, five for iOS, five for Android users. Right. right? Hey, and like the usual. That's smart. That's more. Mm-hmm. I think next time too, I'm, I'm gonna slowly give away the gift codes because I I did it all in one stream <laughs> and then I ran out and I was like, damn. yeah, I'm like, I was damn. Like, I was like, yo, this I live stream is just hyping up. Like, like they really they're willing to throw hands for these promo codes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That 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 um combat master tournament giveaway live stream was the mm-hmm. most viewed and the most liked live stream that i've done on my channel and it couldn't Heck have yeah. been possible without you guys so thank you i appreciate yeah. it yeah now that we have new promo code set up uh i will be willing to provide you more for the next tournament which i look forward to yes. uh right <laughs> knowing with this new big update that's coming obviously like giving out promo codes to like promote the game to give our content creators it's gonna be like a like a for sure thing I know COD Mobile doesn't do that much, like promo code giveaways. I remember Iferg had like a, what was it called? Like the calling card, only he was allowed to get five of them for free. Like, yeah, something like, like that. They're super five stingy out of over like, there, what, dude. Like tens, hell is yeah, stingy like five out of like what? Like almost like a hundred thousand people and only five winners going to get it. Like, yeah. dude, that's like a really tiny, tiny percentage right there that's only getting it. Not even percentage, like a small amount of decimals players. You mentioned right something there. about the, the pricing because... um. And I, 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 find oh, yeah. this, I find this very interesting because you you said that well for example right let's say the the, the ghost face bundle um that bundle yeah, used to skull be face. 40 used to be or oh, so skull face sorry skull face 20 something dollars i think it was was it 20 now it's like well like five bucks yeah it used to be 20 or something well my state is 20 but um i think it's like five bucks right now actually yeah because i think in my state when i remember pulling up the app uh the skull face bundle was forty dollars and then now it's available for i think it's only ten dollars and that is <laughs> that is a crazy discount and i i was always wondering because i know there's for okay for example for as me the consumer who just wants to play the game i would mm-hmm. always recommend you know just lower the prices and make it more available to more people so more people will buy your mm-hmm. bundle but from a business standpoint you know you kind of want a return on your investment you know and you know, I, I I get the pricing may have been a little higher for a reason, but mm-hmm. you know, I think in my opinion, I think honestly, the lower the price is the better. Once you guys get more exposure, yeah. once more people start playing the game, maybe even with more bundles over time, people are gonna be like, Okay, yeah, I need this bundle. I'm gonna go back and buy back buy that bundle. You know what I mean? People are just gonna start yeah. I, I would say they would shop a little bit more. No, the reason why we dropped this because we feel like it's like more affordable, more reasonable, like pricing for like something like this, right? Obviously, COD Mobile is like, you know, uh, Mythic, right? Because I actually, you know, have a maxed out Mythic. Uh, in my state, it was like 125, right? I know some other probably will be like 200 and something, depending how good your, and your, your luck is, really, with the, yeah. with the what's it called, the uh, the shards, right? Oh to get it maxed God. out. Because I know you need a total of 2,000. And that's like, well, like draining 100 and something dollars right there. COD Mobile but, is tripping with their whole lucky draw yeah, system, bro. I, I swear. I, I still have hope for them. Don't get me wrong. I have hope for COD Mobile to do some really big changes. And I feel like people, I think Jabuzo is the one who announced like persistent having some changes, some other stuff like melee, stuff like that, including the canine dog. So yeah. when I first heard about that, like, you know, that kind of gave me hope. Like, I was like, cool. That's really amazing that they're like taking like, you know, uh, these like ideas from the community. I don't know if they do even listen to the community. Maybe they do. I'm in a server. I think left, I believe, because I remember the server changed completely, like completely, completely. Oh, I, I only recently joined their Discord server. I don't know how the hell. I, I think I was just Googling everything. I didn't even realize I could just join their Discord server. I was like, what am I doing? Like, I'm on Discord. I might as well just join their server. I think I joined like two months oh, ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been playing this game for like three years. I remember when uh, Alpha told me like about like, let's see how well I go. And I was thinking in my head, like, I hope this is like enough funding, like all the people purchasing this. I hope this is like more than enough funding for like the developer team. Because obviously with like dropping the price, right? You have to think about like, uh, like is it going to be good for the funding team for like the funding? Like, will it be good? Like, would the team earn money or something like that? Yeah, I mean, you guys got a whole, I mean, you say it's a small team, but it's still a team that, you know, mm-hmm. I'm sure they want to get, you know, compensated for their hard work, you know? And Yeah, 
but i mean hopefully like i said you, dude you guys have a big community um i just think it's gonna take a little bit more time you know what i mean to kind of establish the game that it oh yeah going. you know what i mean this game isn't going nowhere it's only gonna get better and i think when people have that more of that confidence they're gonna be like okay i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna buy some of this stuff because they know that it you know yeah I mean? they're, they're not gonna feel like they're wasting their money you know the game isn't going to be taken mm -hmm. down again which by the way there is no yeah. more threats or anything like that right like the game no is here to no, stay. no no there's no more threats anymore no, there's awesome. no more threats i know alpha bravo said no there's no more threats i remember when the game first got taken down um people thought i was like how was like the game developed so quickly well that's easy actually we just took the same files from our old game and just changed like the good amount of stuff from it that's pretty much it right i remember seeing a lot of similarities when i went back and i looked at action is it it's called action strike um and looking yeah, at action like, strike. the same maps the same like animate like not all the animations but like there was a lot of similarities i'm like wait a minute it's the same game but it isn't <laughs> my friends are literally texting me it's like hey you're gonna get on or what like i'm like oh bro, give me one chance <laughs> <laughs> your friends i yeah. remember you were um when i was trying to get you to play you were doing uh i think you were playing uh, with uh, omega legends you were playing bro yeah you should try it out it's, <laughs> it's literally i mean it's a good game it's pretty good i actually kind of want to meet the developers and tell them like hey your game is really cool you know stuff like that i always want to like tell all the developers that i see like making these games like yo your game is amazing i hope one day we could like work together like someday like help each other out and stuff like that yo, i know with strike team online i wanted to help them out and i was like I, man i wanted to bring that up now that you mentioned it i remember mm -hmm. seeing you in the strike team online discord and you were reaching out yeah. to steve you were offering your help has he ever replied yeah, or anything? I, or? He replied like saying, I'll DM you something. And I told him like, yeah, for sure, add me. But I, I think I couldn't send him a friend request. And I was like, okay, I guess I guess he's like busy with some other stuff. Then like over time, I was like, maybe, maybe I should stop and like hope for the best for him at this point. Maybe if he needs something, he could always feel free to ping me in a server. So that's yeah. why I kind of like, I didn't give up on him. I don't want to, because I know he has a lot of potential. See, the thing is the way how I found out about this game was one of my friends uh, who found out about the game. And he's like, you know what? In my head, I was like, I'm going to help fund him. I wasted like maybe like 25 bucks on the game, you know, purchasing one of the anime bundles, right? And some other cosmetic skin. Uh -huh. you know, obviously, you know, to fund the game, you know, to see if it supports him somewhat. You know, every dollar is like a, some valuable thing to the developer team. Right, right. So right. that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. well, that's nice of you, man. I was actually surprised that you were reaching out to him and all that. Because um, yeah. Strike Team Online is a game that I've been following for like the past two years making all kinds of videos how long has it, it been under development i remember like i remember i found it back in like I, 20 i think it's 2020 <laughs> around a year i think it's been like yeah almost like three four years now really yeah because that game has been in yo because i think um steve has kind of a similar issue like situation as alpha bravo where before strike team online there was another game called bullet core and he transferred bullet. all of that to make strike team online and so he's just kind of in this limbo of when are we getting like the big big update bullet core was he a developer to bullet core or bullet core is like its own developer kind of thing no i think it's actually here i'm gonna look it up on my phone um it's an, yeah he developed another game so if you go to the play store and you look up his uh his developer studio steve ryu um it pulls up another game that he developed before it's got a two. Oh, I look a bullet force. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he made Bullet Core. Um, it's got over fifty thousand downloads, and I believe Bullet Core was developed or released um, way before Strike Team Online. So let me see. This game released in twenty twenty, and then released on twenty twenty. Last updated twenty twenty, the same month, and then dropped Strike Team Online. And it's like I don't know. We're all kind of confused. <laughs> We're just so waiting. Strike Team Online. I, so Strike Team Online is like, uh, hmm, that's very interesting about that game. But I don't understand why you make two games at once while working on. Yeah, you know, if you're working as a solo developer working on two games, it makes it more stressful. Because here's the thing: uh, Action Strike is no longer being updated anymore. It's just right there. You know, working on two games is really. I, I bet you it's going to be extremely stressful working on two games. Yeah, well, at, he wasn't a solo dev. He actually had a team of people. And I think a lot of those guys, mm -hmm. I don't know how big the team was. I'm That I can count, it was like at least maybe a team of like three or four. Um, something happened. Um, all right, bro. So we got a little bit sidetracked on a private conversation. Um, maybe we'll delve back into that in, in privately. But I want to go back to yeah. Combat Master <laughs> and ask you, um, what has got you the most excited 
for a combat master like what is like the most let's, let's say short term what is more like what are you excited for and then long term this what is, what is big like a long -term goal? update that's actually upcoming this big update that's upcoming right now actually not right now but like you know this you know end of month hopefully or maybe delay yeah so in this baby. update right we have a lot of cool stuff coming up um now here's the thing i want to talk about like right battle pass right obviously battle pass is something we should talk about obviously it is coming soon and with the battle pass is going to be kind of a cool thing i did mention that we wanted to make it for free right yeah but maybe some plans might change with making this battle pass for free maybe we might be officially ready to launch season one or even just stick with preseason. it's kind of random we don't know for sure maybe we might even launch season one right now who knows right, right? obviously we want to you know try to have some sort of funding with the game right like more funding gives us you know a good more like kind of valuable way to work maybe even you know get more people to work with us like more developer teams right like the more developer team the faster we could work right? Right, right and we can't do that without some sort of funding right yeah exactly dude but if we're going to put a price on something well, we want to make that price really rewarding and worth the price right we want to make it so it really like says yeah five bucks for this that is a that is a steal right there like i would not skip on that offer right now right we want to make it so it's really worth it like really worth your money you know with this battle pass you know we want to like put more like effort into it like more like kind of like skins ideas really cool stuff into it right right yeah. put a lot of effort we might make it free we might not but don't do not worry if we don't make it for free we will obviously be giving out promo codes to our content creators to host giveaways Obviously, we'll be doing that thing in this in our Discord, right? We'll probably make it a good amount so people can actually win these promo codes for a free battle pass for those who cannot afford it, right? Hey, let's or maybe go. hold on to it and give it to a friend that you want, right? So hey, it really all depends. That that's really dope, and that's exciting news, bro. And I totally, yeah. I totally understand. You know, you might have to charge somewhere to make some kind of funding especially to yeah you know you it it sucks you know that some people may not understand that part of it you know they, mm -hmm. you have to get yeah. funding in order to produce more content and i think oh yeah i think charging for the battle pass isn't that you know me for like a battle pass that you're getting seasonally like that's not a bad move dude and mm -hmm. even if it's you it's know not a bad move. it uh, i've said this so many times with like cod mobile the only thing worth buying in COD Mobile is the season battle pass. It's that's the it. battle pass. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't like the so crates. Some content. crates are pretty cool. Yeah, some crates are pretty cool in the game. I remember when I only my first ever time I ever purchased the bundle was the legendary MSMC uh, space station bundle, like yeah. the first ever like legendary bundle. That's the, and I want the GKS unicorn to come back, <laughs> and I will literally gladly buy that. That is I so love the OG. GK, GKS. Pretty cool. Yeah, so cool. Um. But yeah, you know, obviously, if we are going to make it the battle pass, something where you have to pay money, obviously, we're going to make it worth it. No um, kidding about I don't that. Know if, I don't know if you can talk on it, but, you know, what, mm -hmm. what are the plans for, like, a battle pass? Will it be 50 tiers or would you have to hit, like, mm -hmm. you know, is, will it be like a ladder where you unlock something every five tiers? You know, I, you know. Maybe not, like, something where you unlock every five tiers. You might make it something, like, where, you know, you unlock something every, like, for one, level one, level two, level three, stuff like that. You know, like, simple, like, reward. But, like, after, like, maybe, like, after, like, tier five, you get, like, really cool stuff. Like, every tier, after every five, fifth tier, you get something really cool, like, a cool pet pull skin or maybe even legendary. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, right. And I like that. obviously once we get more people into the team, we might re reanimate, uh, not reanimate, readjust the skins. Right. You, you know, maybe who knows uh, with enough funding, we could probably make it. So like the first ever battle pass legendary skin, right. Has a really cool kill effect. Right. Oh, like okay, maybe like okay. Raven's coming out when you kill somebody. Maybe it's like a cool looking weapon with like kind of like a Grim Reaper, like kind of like a, a Grim Reaper um, design to it. Like kind of like that kind of stuff. Like right. And the last character to be like literally Skullface with the Reaper outfit something like cool like that yeah that'd be cool i mean and like you mm -hmm. said you know there there's so much room to to adjust and to grow and and, and you know yeah the, the team definitely you know you got the plans you guys got the talent you know it's just a yeah. matter of, it's a matter of time bro it's just a matter of time honestly the way i see it oh yeah for sure okay dude i want to go ahead and ask you another question that i hope i hope you have a lot of funny a lot of funny answers to this one but yeah. are, are there any like fan requests or like modes that people are like constantly asking <gasps> for that you know right no. now there is no <laughs> way in hell they're gonna make it into the game there was like this one dude that requested um they, oh my god it was like the funniest request ever so this guy specifically requested right um a monkey royale mode right <laughs> where you're basically dressed in a gorilla's outfit right <laughs> throwing rocks at each other and killing each other right i'm like that's <laughs> funny 
<laughs> and this is one dude went out. How about like funny executions? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I want to summon a shark that consumes somebody. I'm like, that's a really cool like. I wow. remember one time I was going to like sketching idea. I was like sketching it out, like uh -huh. like the shark guy, a guy with a shark costume with a baseball bat with like like a little shark kind of thing on it. Uh -huh. Right, and he just like goes around like beating people up with a shark baseball bat. And his finisher move, right? He like snaps two times and just like a shark comes from above and just takes the guy to the deepest depths of like you know the ocean. Dude, that it was, was like really cool. That that's match. actually a very interesting take on executions because i mean in, like in modern warfare yeah. the wars on they're all very serious but i think cold war uh started introducing executions where like a zombie would come out and like take your head off and stuff yeah. like oh yeah like, know, those dude, are a lot like, of that's fun. so cool that's gonna, i know people have like some really cool ideas some people have really funny ideas most of the funniest idea would probably be like a really cool thing to add like an april's food joke which by the way could be wouldn't be that bad to do uh -huh. um Mostly the battle, the monkey battle royale thing, which sounds really funny to do. That would um, be funny. Other than that, like most of these guys have like really funny. Most of these guys have really great ideas. Like everybody, like obviously me and the dev check people's ideas, right? We always check it out, no matter what. Even including the art style. People have like, I've seen people's like art style fan art. It's like, it's so amazing. Like no kidding about that. And you know what? I think we're down to our last question. Um, Spry, can you at this moment give us any leaks or any, any kind of like tidbits of information that you haven't told anybody else Ooh. that you uh, exclusive like an exclusive for me right now <laughs> so i remember asking alpha like hey is there any leaks that i can share right he's like maybe we should keep it as like a pure secret i was like okay for sure right um i think i think i haven't like talked about this yet right so i won't go into too much like deep detail about it right ooh, ooh. obviously with like the game upcoming you know like updates you know like the biggest battle royale rumor mm -hmm. yeah battle royale is gonna be like a really cool thing to add. obviously you know with that the biggest request was battle royale right if, yeah you know battle royale is the genre battle royale is this battle royale is the meta of like the you know peak of like kind of genre for gaming right but then again we have to think about it battle royale like is it gonna be worth it it's gonna be more played it's gonna be like less played like what if we add this and it just takes up people's space and people are not gonna play you know like stuff like that Right? Right, right, right so battle royale is something that is coming right obviously battle royale is something that's coming right with battle royale people think it's like is the bam gonna be big it's gonna be like small like actually no um you know obviously with this game you know we want to make it as friendly lower end device as it is because you know bigger maps take a lot of rendering with the game right you yeah. gotta render it you gotta like make sure your frame rate is not good no i'm not gonna be that crazy big it's gonna be pretty decent size it's gonna be like kind of like a small size i'm not gonna be like crazy big it's gonna be a map where or an area is I should say, uh, where it's a lot of action. Like, if you hear a gunshot, obviously you're gonna rush to it like as quick as possible just to get in that gunfight, get as much action, kill like the best top tier loot, attachment, you know, stuff like that, or even armor in general. Yeah, that's uh, that's much I can just share. That's not too much I can share. I would love to share more, but like we can't. We want to keep it a secret, like, kind of like a big surprise because when this update is <laughs> gonna come out, it's gonna be the biggest surprise for you guys. And yes, obviously we're gonna sir. provide more promo codes for our country creators. Feed me. feed me bro the people maybe one day <laughs> maybe one day when alpha bravo tells me i'm allowed to share some really cool clips yo i, I know with that. the battle pass we're actually working on some cool stuff for the intro so there you go hey, there you there. go man. a cool yo. intro yes bro an intro to the battle pass look sprite thank you so much man you have given me more than enough information um i hope this interview wasn't too long i know we're stretching into the no nah, it's all good I, bro i appreciate you so much and um Thank you for taking the time out of your day. I know you're a busy man, the whole Alpha Bravo team. Um, and, uh, you know, just just thank you so much, man. I, you're always in the streams. You're always in the comment section. You're in the Discord yeah. server. You're active. You're, you know, you're definitely that that bridge between uh, the community and the development team. So I appreciate you, bro. I think you're doing an awesome job. And, um, yeah, man, Alpha Bravo can really trust you, bro, because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't spill the beans, man. <laughs> no, nah, not yet at least. I think you deserve a raise. <laughs> uh, oh, I just man. can't wait for like motor YouTuber. I know like I remember like I had my childhood YouTuber here, which is exotic gaming. I can't wait for it to make some more videos too. Oh on exotic. The game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I see he was my I childhood see. like he's literally my childhood like YouTuber. I know I have like other childhood YouTubers like Vanos Gaming, you know, those guys, but yeah. those are different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up, dude. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, uh, well, thank you so much, Bry. I appreciate you, bro. I'll let you go back to doing your yeah. thing. And, uh, I'll yeah, I look forward to your now live stream if you're going to live stream today, man. I'm not streaming today, but I'll, I'll stream again tomorrow. Oh, shoot. <laughs> just so you, just so you can drop some more nukes. Watch live stream. 
<laughs> Hopefully. Me and my friends actually watch your live stream from time to time. They just love seeing me play with you. They're like, oh my god, my friend's playing with the live stream. That's my friend right there. Man, well, you're you're way better than me, bro. That's for sure. Whenever you're ready to host another one, I'm down. Hey, let's let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You take care. Take care, bro. I'll try to get you your promo codes when I can, okay? Hey, no, no rush, brother. No rush. Thank you so much. <laughs> take care, man. All right, take care. Bye-bye. All right, guys. There it is. There you have it. That is going to wrap up the exclusive interview with spry i hope you guys enjoyed that that interview i hope uh you know maybe you heard some good news in there i know i definitely did battle pass confirmed battle royale map will not be a ginormous map where you're gonna get lost and you know be running around doing a whole lot of nothing um the development team is uh hard at work and uh man and we are too all right, thank you so much to Spry. Thank you so much to Alpha Bravo. Thank you to the entire Combat Master team. Shout out to the ABXY family. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for all the all the love, all the likes, all the new subscribers. I hope you guys are enjoying um, something different from the channel. We've never done anything like this before. So uh, if you guys liked it, let me know. Maybe we'll do more in the future. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay strong, and stay healthy. Peace.